You need to speak the local language in order to make a wish. It's just us now, Frieza. Me and you! Finally, I've been waiting for this. How very curious. It would seem you're willing to pay the ultimate price to settle our conflict. Very well. There's no point anymore. I can tell you're afraid. I don't need to defeat you anymore. You, you dare mock me? I will not Get down! Get down! <gasps> uh -huh. 
brought this upon yourself, Frieza. Though I have to admit I didn't see it ending quite like this. Cuz you sayin'? Uh I'm going to make my way back to Earth. You can stay here and suffer the same fate as this planet. I... thank you. Uh, p -p please have mercy. Please have mercy. I thank you. How can you beg for mercy? How many people begged you for mercy before you slaughtered them? How many? I beg you. I've given you just a little bit of my energy. That's all you get. You're on your own. Is why you you must you must die by my hand. You fool! What? No. Goku survived his battle with Frieza. However, planet Nemec had finally reached its limit, exploding in spectacular fashion and leaving Goku nowhere to be found. Back on Earth, Vegeta and the relocated Namekians resolved to stay with Bulma for the time being. Not much time had passed before Grand Elder Guru once again passed away. This time, surrounded by his people. With Mori as the new Grand Elder, the Namekian Dragon Balls would be ready in one Namekian year, or 130 days on Earth. Though the Namekian Dragon Balls were only capable of reviving one person per wish, they could revive those that had died multiple times. Upon making their wishes to bring Goku and Krillin back, everyone received some shocking news. Goku was alive, and he was on his way back to Earth. To prevent Krillin from being brought back to life on the now destroyed Namek, his soul was brought back to Earth with the first wish, and then revived with the second. No longer needing to revive Goku, next in line to be brought back was Yamcha, whom everyone was more than happy to see. Then, another 130 days had passed and two of the three wishes had been used to bring back the beloved Chaozu and Tien. Then, with the third and final wish, the Namekians were transported to a new planet. Along with their legendary Dragon Balls. Hey, it's me, Goku! What's that now? You're telling me Frieza's alive? And right now he's making his way to Earth with his father? They're probably gonna do something awful while I'm not there, aren't they? You're not gonna get away with this, Frieza. Huh? Who are you? 
Stay tuned for the next episode of Dragon Ball Z, the fight for the future against the android terror. You don't want to miss it. Gohan, how are your studies going? Uh, okay, I guess. You lost a lot of ground during your little excursion to Namek. We've got to get you caught up. Yeah, but I've been studying so much, I don't think I can cram anything else in. Oh, all right then. Fine. You can run outside for a breather, but make sure you don't take too long. Got it? <sighs> Thanks, Mom. I'll be back soon. Yes, soon. Understand? Hey! Hi! <laughs> no?
Always worried about me. Well then, ready to hit the books again, Gohan? That's what I like to hear. Yeah, should hurry back, Dad. We miss you. Roughly a year and a half had passed since the fight with the dreadful Frieza. But there was still no sign of Goku returning to Earth. The world had entered a period of peace. That peace, however, was to be short-lived. As a new threat was rapidly approaching the planet. <laughs> 